Ladies and gentlemen, you're tuned in. New episode, Advice from a Fuck Boy. I'm your host, Clint Coley. Uh, no AKAs. Uh, I'm not uh, promoting anything. Just another episode. Me trying to, again, continue, uh, do what I'm supposed to be doing. Not really supposed to be doing, but, you know, doing what I told y'all I would do. And, um, yeah, hopefully y'all like what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So, um, today's episode, I want to talk about quality dates. That's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about quality dates. Uh, I was talking to my homegirl, right? And she tells me, she says, Clint, here is my new year. She was talking about how, what she, you know, affirmations and things that she wanted to do uh, for the new year. And one of her things was she wants to go on one to two quality dates per month. And the first thing, of course, that jumps out at everybody's mind was, well, first of all, it's not hard to go. Everybody knows it's not hard to go on a date every month or at least one to two dates every month. And she didn't specify, specify, she didn't specify whether that be with one person or it could be multiple, with multiple people. First thing I'm going to speak on as far as that is regard is, I think one or two quality dates a month, between, whether that be you going out with two separate guys or whether you doing it, doing it twice a month with the same guy, it, it doesn't matter, right? It can still be a quality date. So that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, she trying to go out with this nigga, that nigga, this nigga, that. And even if she was, so the fuck what? You know what I'm saying? Uh, but that can mean a lot of different variations. You know what I'm saying? One to two quality dates a month. Ladies, I actually urge you to do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Again, it could be with one nigga, two dates a month. You know what I'm saying? Two quality dates a month. Or it can be with two niggas. You know what I'm saying? And it could be with... You know, maybe it could be with one nigga this month, one nigga next month, one nigga, you know what I'm saying? Or it can be, you know, two niggas this month, two niggas next. Like, it's so many variations you could do it. You could do two this month in January with this guy, two next month in Jan in February with the same guy, and then you could do one and two in in March. Like it, it just depends on how the I don't want to say the cookie crumbles, but it depends on how. Um, it gets it gets break broken down into so it's not a big deal. Do whatever you want. Do whatever do whatever uh, that makes you feel happy. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. But let's dive into what exactly is a quality date. And I broke it down into like five to six things that really encompass a quality date. The first thing I want to talk about is intent. All right. Intent is a big thing because a date is not a date unless both of y'all agree it's a date. Now, let's be let's be real, fellas. You ever been on a date with a girl? You think it's a date and she like, nah, this is just two friends getting together. You know what I mean? Like I never get girl ask me, you know, yo, do you you know, um, I had to ask a girl like, yo, is this a you know, she asked me. I'm sorry. I didn't ask her. She asked me. She says, Clint, is this a date? And I'm like, well, what the fuck you think? What, what you mean? What do you? What do you? What do you mean? Do you? What is this a date? You know damn well it's a date. Or I, or I ask a woman if this is a date. She says, you tell me. Nah, bitch, you tell me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, no, you tell me. And a lot of times, ladies, I know that you follow a man's lead, but I think when it comes to, when it comes to intent. I think you do set the tone in whether it's a date or not. I'm, I'm, you again. Listen, I'm fair. All right, y'all can't say he's not fair. I tell y'all all the time, men lead, blah 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 blah. But I am fair. I'm telling you now, ladies, you set the tone on whether it is a date or not. Now, fellas, you follow through on if it's said date, meaning you're the one that's making the plans, you're the one that's doing this, 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 and this, and we'll get to that later. But ladies, you do set the tone on whether this is a date or not. Again, I've been on dates like, okay, I've never been out with a girl that I'm attracted to and not said, this is not a date in my eyes. But there are women who I've been who I've been out with, who have been a, who have been attracted to me, but necessarily said, "Clint, this isn't a date. We just cool and we hanging out." That's that's a fact. 
I've seen that multiple times. I've been here before. I've seen this movie. We, we, you know, it, it just, it, it, you know, it is what it is. So that's why I make it a point to let na- ladies know you do set the tone on whether it is a date or not. I'm not saying, again, I got to keep reiterating this to y'all because a lot of times y'all take what I say and you want to take bits and pieces and say, oh, but how, how a man going to tell me that I got to set the tone? No, no, no. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, if a man asks you out, like, let's say I ask you, let's say a man asks you, say, hey, you trying to go out Friday. You straight up say, are you trying to take me on a date? That's all you have to say. He asks you out. All your response, your, your next response is, or should be, are you trying to take me on a date? If he says yes, then you say yes. If he says, no, this is not a date, this is just us hanging out, you make your decision from there. But you, so my thing is, if you know you feeling him, if you know he, he, you know what I'm saying? You ask him, are you trying to take me on a date? Even if you know you're not feeling him, all right? Let's say you're not feeling him, and a guy asks, yo, you going to take me out? And it's like, yo, are you trying to take me on a date? And if he says yes, and you're not feeling him, you say, yo, I don't want to give it the date title. Um, I'm not interested in dating, but if you want to take me out and you want to have fun, I'm more than welcome to do that. See how easy that is, sis? That's not hard. That's not, that's not hard. Fellas looking like, yo, ladies, ladies, do me a favor. Send me a DM. If I'm telling the truth, just say, Clint, that's fair. That's all you got to do. Just send me a DM, say, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I'm, I'm, that, look, that's all I'm about. So let's, so intent is a big thing. Now let's go to a second piece of intent. Let's talk about good intent or bad intent. Do you have good intentions when you're going on this date? Fellas, I'm mainly talking to you and I realize that my light has been off as, and I'm on YouTube this entire time. Give me about seven seconds. I'm going to run, turn the light on and come right back. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and I'm back. <laughs> my bad. My light, I'm on, I'm on, uh, I'm, I also put these on YouTube if y'all watching. Um, just a straight camera, one shot, just me just talking. I'm at my desk and um, I ain't had a light on, so my bad. But let's talk about good intentions and bad intentions, all right? Good intentions, right, means that you are, and this is, let's, let's take it from a male's perspective and let's take it from a woman's perspective, all right? From man's perspective, good intent, fellas, means you're going on this date and you're only expecting a date. Expecting. I'm not saying whatever happens happen, doesn't happen or whatever. Whatever happens, happens, but you let that be her decision. But your intentions on this date is not pussy. Your intentions on this date is not to be on no fuck shit. Your intentions on this date is you legitimately want to get to know her. That's your that's good intentions. Good intentions is I'm down for whatever. Cause like let's be real, fellas. You 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 you're down to fuck. All right. Let's 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 not do this. Let's not act like you you're you're down to fuck. Right? But are your intentions to fuck? I can be down for a lot of shit. That doesn't necessarily mean that's my intentions. Down the fuck, intending the fuck, two totally different things. So I want to make that clear when we're uh, when we're talking about this kind of stuff. Down the fuck, intending the fuck, two totally different things. Now, let's go a step further, right? Again, now, even though your intentions aren't the fuck, your intentions need to be hey i'm here my intentions are the following fellas this again this is a quality date not a fuck boy date quality quality greater sign fuck boy all right let's keep talking another way to since we're talking about good intentions your intentions also need to be fellas to have fun to have fun get to know you have fun 
fellas, there's so many times that I hear you niggas going on dates and you're not having fun. You need to be having fun. Date should be a good motherfucking time. All right. You need to be leaving that date like, yeah, even it, look, it may not lead to nothing. Who knows? Who, you know what I'm saying? But I had a good time. I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed Clint's comedy show. I'm not, again, I'm not promoting. I ain't got no shows coming up. I mean, I might, but I'm not, you know, not yet. But, hey, man, y'all better come see me. Fuck that. All right? Y'all better come see me. I'm funny. And watch my special. It's on YouTube, all right? Like, if you want to see if I'm funny, if you've never seen if I'm funny, watch my special on YouTube. But that's neither here nor there. All right. But you need to be having fun. Having fun is very key. So, fellas, your good intentions. Having fun getting to know her are you with me gp are you with me fun good fun getting to know her okay ladies your intentions for good intentions on a date number one same thing as men you should be trying to get to know him you should be trying to get to know him i don't want to hear about food I don't want to hear about I'm just hungry. I don't want to hear I'm bored. There's a lot of other things you can do with your time if you're bored. If you're bored, sis, go read a fucking book. All right? Go read a book. There's a lot of good books out there. I could recommend some. But if you're bored, read a book. Bottom line. If you're bored, this is not a book to read. This is my... This, this, I mean, if you're watching this on YouTube, this, uh, this is my joke book. This is a cool-ass joke book. But anyway, read a book. All right, read a book if you're bored. The second thing, ladies, all right, we already talked about having fun, right? But for you, right, for you, you need to let your guard down. That should be, you should be dating, you should be letting your guard down. Meaning, I'm not saying you need to tell this man everything that, you, that you've been through in your life on the first date. I'm not telling you that you need to be, you know, uh, what do you call it? I'm not telling you that you need to be 100% like, yo, you know, I'm here for this. Blah. No, 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 no. When I say let your guard down, he's not, don't, whatever date you've been on before this, whatever men you've been dealt with before this, give this man an opportunity. Give him a clean slate. All right. The way that I used to date was, was that you have an A in my class. It is up to you whether or not you keep that A. If you don't keep said A, then, hey, man, I, I gave you an opportunity. So, ladies, your intentions need to be giving him a fair chance. A lot of y'all go on dates playing defense. You're not really there because you want to be there. You're there because you think you should be there. No. Give him a clean chance real realistic opportunity that's it most of the time fellas that's all we want we just want a legit shot we want a chance that's it that's it all we want is a chance and a lot of times ladies y'all don't y'all don't give us a fair chance because we're fighting through whatever the fuck y'all went through with other men that ain't got shit to do with me all right you know, the last nigga I went on a date with, he blah, 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 blah. He blah, 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 blah. All right, well, then if you so mad at him, go call him and tell him why, why you mad. And get off this date with me. All right? So that's where we are. So first thing is intentions. Good intentions. Now there's bad intentions, right? Now we already named pretty much what the good intentions are. The antithesis of both of, of what I said uh, for good intentions are bad intentions, right? So, fellas, if you're on a date and you're trying to fuck, that's bad intentions. You don't need to be going outside, all right? If you're... Oh, fellas, my bad. I forgot one for y'all asses. Fellas, do not be going on no date telling women how much you're spending and how much you're not spending. You hear me? Leave the money conversation out of this. You know your ballpark. You know what you're trying to spend. You know what you're not trying to spend. Stay within your means, bro. You don't need to have that fucking conversation. Too many times y'all motherfuckers be leading with money. How much money you got or how much money you don't got. Grow the fuck up. Please and thank you. 
I mean, I'm serious. Please and thank you. Grow up and do better. All right? So we're not having that conversation. But ladies, same thing with you. You need to be going on dates with a clean slate, and you need to be going on dates with... And, and also, let's, let's go one more step with this intent. My bad. Go out with people you're actually interested in. All of these make a great... That the intent, that's what makes a great quality date first. Go out with somebody you're actually into. Y'all, so many times, y'all going out with people and you're not into them. You're not into them. You don't give a fuck. You don't like them. You don't, you're not in, you're, there's nothing about them that's interesting to you. So you're going out with them for the, just for the motions. That's not going to work. All right. The second thing that makes a quality date is the actual the 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 arrangements the plans okay the plans now i'm not talking about the said plans i'm talking about the arrangement of plans now i'm going to start with with men and then i'm going to lead into women fellas you are not stupid lady sitting here like ah, clint you'd be surprised but <laughs> Fellas, you're not stupid, or you shouldn't be stupid, all right? Let's have this conversation. Guys, guys, you know women like plans. You know this. So anything else other than plans, women ain't trying to hear, all right? So planning, all right? Let's start with the first thing. Number one, if you're making plans on Tuesday for Saturday, right? If you're make, so let, let's let's go. Let me let me go back. My bad. Number one, fellas, you need to be starting with when are you free? And when you ask when you're free, you need to also explain when you're free in the same text. So it's like, hey, when are you free? I'm free. Friday night, Saturday night, or Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday afternoon, Sunday night, right? Does any of those work for you? That narrows it down. That gives women an opportunity to, to, to not say some shit like, well, or, or come back with a question, well, when are you free? Blah, 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 blah. And now y'all going through when you free, when you free, when you free. And I'm going to be honest with you, fellas, with women that gets, they get exhausted with that. They get exhausted with that. They get, they, that, 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 honestly, that, that's minus one point and you don't even know it. You, you are starting off on the wrong foot and you don't even know it. You ain't even know. You only ask when she was free? You ain't even know. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. That was that was corny. I'm better than that. I'm a better comedian than that. I'm. Old. I told y'all earlier to watch my special. Come to the shows, and y'all like he making jokes like that. My bad. And y'all might not even be thinking that. You know, I could be projecting, but that's neither here nor there. But yeah. Uh, yes. So you, so fellas, take take my advice. All right, you ready? You ask her. Say, hey, when are you free? I'm fr just for you know. When are you free? I'm free this day, this day, this day, this day. Give her about three to four options and say, does any of these work for you? Right? Chances are one of the options that you gave her is good for her. If they're not good for her, she's going to normally, she's going to give you some days that, that do work for her. If she does not give you days that work for her, fellas, I'm going to be honest with you. You don't got to keep tracking, chasing her or tracking it down. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. You don't have to keep. I, I, would, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I would not do that. I give you some dates that I'm free. And then you don't give me no dates that you're free back. Or if you tell me none of those dates work for me. And then I got to. I'm not asking you again. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to just be like, all right, these, you say these days don't work for you? Cool. This date don't work for me. 
But chances are she's going to tell you that those days, one of those days work for you. If not, most women with some sense, she's going to say to you, okay, these days don't work for me, but how about this, 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 and this? And then y'all can come to an agreement. Okay. So now you have the day, fellas. Now you have the day. You got the day. Now you got to narrow down the time, right? She says this day, this, this, let's just say, let's just hypothetically say, she says Saturday evening works for me. You say Saturday evening works for you. You know when the fucking evening is, all right? The evening begins at 6 p.m. The afternoon, so listen, the morning is, you know, 8 to 12. Afternoon is 12 to about 4, 5, depending on where you are. 6 in the evening. So you ask her what time works for her. Chances are y'all be going out somewhere between 6 and 8 p.m. All right. Now, fellas, here's my advice. Before you ask the time, have an idea of what you think you might want to do. But we'll get to that later. But have an idea of what you might want to do. All right. So you got the date. You got the time. All right. You got the date. You got the time. Again, we're planning. We're, pl we're in the planning stage. Right. This again, this is how we get to a quality date. So we're in the planning stages now, 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 ladies, with that date time, please do not make it difficult to set for us to set a date and for us to set a time. I'm asking you that you do not need to make it difficult for a date and for a time. That's whack. All right. I just want you to know that you should not be making it difficult for us to get a date and a time. All right. You're asking us to lead. We're doing that. What I need from you is just cooperation. You know how SpongeBob said imagination. I need cooperation. Cooperation. All right. Cooperation. That's simple. Now, let's go to the next part. Let's go to the next part. Fellas, again, we're talking about planning this. If woman doesn't hear from you, like let's say you made plans on Tuesday and you don't confirm or text before, before Saturday, you don't have plans on Saturday. <laughs> you don't have plans. Like, let's be for real. Fellas, you know that for a fact. You don't confirm like Thursday, Friday, like y'all, y'all, you're not checking in. You don't have plans on Saturday. I would assume that. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. If you tell me if we planted some shit and I don't hear from you, and then we we don't have plans. That's just that's just where I'm at. We don't have plans. So you need to you need to make sure that you are being consistent. While making said plans. All right. Now let's get to actually what you want to do. Now. What you want to do. I don't think that you need to ask a woman. What do you want to do? By the time y'all get into the date phases. Right. So she's going to ask you on Tuesday. Do you have anything in mind that you that you'd want to that, that you want to do? Right. Here's the secret. Y'all ready, fellas? Write this down. Here's the secret. You making plans on Tuesday. It's, uh, you know, the date's not till Sunday. She says, hey, do you have anything, I, an idea, you have uh, anything you, you, uh, you have in mind? You say, no, not yet. I will make plans and I'll get back to you by Friday. Is that okay? She says, yes. Now. In between time, fellas, this is where you're gathering your information without asking her directly what she wants to do. You ask, you, you, you're, you're talking about things in conversation, right? You find out she likes comedy. You find out she likes, she likes basketball. You find out she likes certain things. Now you have something to go off and you should be looking something up. Now. 
we can talk we can talk about food or anything like that. Yes, you know what I mean? Look up a restaurant, blah, 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 blah. Fellas, if you're going to go the restaurant route, what I suggest is, is that you do the restaurant situation on top, on top of, on top of, so it should go restaurant and something like try to choose a restaurant that has activities already there, right? Like there are restaurants out there like, okay, prime example, I live in LA, right? There's plenty of restaurants that have, you know, like they don't, not only do they have food and dinner there, but they also have activities. Like prime example, you know, I went axe throwing, right? They got food there. Moe's Axe is in LA. It's called Moe's. Spot called Moe's. They got food in that motherfucker. They got food, good food at that. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. That's what I think you should be doing. You know what I'm saying? You should be planning an activity that include that has that has actions in it. But outside of that, you need to be gathering intel. That's your job. You are now an FBI agent, bro. You should be ca- gathering intel on things that she likes. And then you sh- then you 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 fire. Then you fire. Right? So Friday comes around, y'all been talking blah 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 blah. You say to her she te- let's just say she tells you she likes basketball. Y'all going to y'all going to the game, whatever game is in town. That's your date. We're gonna go get something to eat, and then after that, we going to the game. Or we going, you know what I'm saying? Now she's like, okay, this nigga was paying attention. He was paying attention. Now look at you. Now look at you. You're in control of the situation. You were paying attention. You're getting rewarded for paying attention. Now let's go to the third part that makes a quality date. The company. The company. This to me, outside of planning, this to me is the most important part. Company. So you know what you're doing. You have good intentions. Now both of those meet together. And now you have a person that you're with. You've already, you, you're, on, you're coming to the date with good intention. You're coming to the date with the situation where you're in a good space. Now, you need, all you need to do is be your best self. Be your best self. You're on this date. You're there. You're having a good time, right? No negativity. No bullshit. Y'all not, and, and also, and also, and also, I honestly think on these dates, Stay away from certain conversations. You don't need to be having the relationship conversation on this date. You don't need to be bringing up Kevin or anybody. You don't, those, these conversations, you don't need to, fun shit. Fellas, stay away from sex, unless she brings it up. But fun shit. Fun shit. Fun shit. You're cooking now. That's a quite that the fun. Have you ever been on a date with somebody and it's not fun? I've been on non fun dates. They're not because you know, you know why? Because you get on the date and all that talking and texting we was doing, and now we're in real person and you ain't got nothing to say. I don't even be knowing what to say to that. Well, clearly, because if you ain't got nothing to say, then I ain't got nothing to say. But, yeah, company, your company. Are you good company? Y'all should be in... I don't know how many times I got to emphasize this shit. All right? Like, there's no excuse for you guys not to be having a good-ass time after you've done steps one and steps two. Good company. Come to the date ready to talk. Come to the date ready to enjoy yourself. Come to the date. You you should be talking. You should be laughing. All of that. Best jokes. All of that. You that's where you need to be. That's your lane. All right. 
quality date thing for the fourth qu- uh, criteria for a quality date. You know, too many times dates go wrong when you guys are in a situation where, you know, somebody says something stupid. It can, it literally takes one dumb statement to change the trajectory of this date. Somebody may say something on this date that you do not agree with. That cannot shift your energy unless they say something egregious, which I don't want you to say nothing egregious. Bottom line, you shouldn't be over there talking about some you know, you shouldn't be over there talking about some, yeah, man, you know, we need to free Tory Lanes. That's not what you need to be saying on a date. And I'm not saying you're right. I'm not saying you're wrong. As a matter of fact, I am saying you're wrong. But I don't think that that needs to be the topic of conversation. So for me, don't say nothing stupid. And the fifth thing that makes a quality date. The fifth thing, you know, making sure after the date she gets home safely, make sure you say thank you, make sure you guys like that. That's so important. And I guarantee you, you follow those things. At the end of the day, there should be a date too. at the end of the day. Y'all have y'all, 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 y'all that y'all, y'all did right. That's it. Is this hard? I like you. You like me. Make plans. We have fun. You do that shit again. It's that simple. It's that simple. That's all I got for y'all today. All right? Quality dates. The five things. Your intentions. Your your planning. Your company, not saying stupid shit, and you follow through. That's it. That's it. You do these things, good dates are coming. That's all. Thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for laughing. This podcast is over.